project-wise design review workflows, saved views. Saved views are really useful when preparing for a design meeting. Different viewpoints and view settings can tell a powerful story. But if you have to spend five minutes setting up the view to tell that story, then your audience is already lost. With a saved view, you can set up and save the view parameters beforehand, and then in the meeting all you need to do is click to jump to each point of interest. A saved view remembers the camera location and orientation, along with the categories and models that have been set to display. Saved views can be pre-published in the design application, which then comes through into the iModel, or they can be created directly within the design review interface. The Saved View tab gives you the ability to apply views as well as to create new views that can be used later. Views display as thumbnails sorted alphabetically by group. You can filter the list by selecting the search icon and using the search bar that displays. To create a saved view, we simply capture the current active view and all of its settings to recall in the future or share with others. So to do this, first set up the view as you want it to be when it's saved. This includes moving the camera to the correct position, choosing orthographic or perspective projection, ensuring that the elements you want displayed are on screen and any sections that you want applied are set. Next open the save view dialog from the status bar and select the create new saved view button. You'll be prompted to provide a name for your saved view. You'll note there is a more actions button for this view that we've just created. And this allows us to rename, share, delete, or change a save view in some way, but it's only available for views that you've created. If you want to apply or jump to a saved view, just open the dialog and click on the save view that you want to apply and the, the view will move to that position. You might find you've got some views that are already there within the desktop views group and these are ones that have been created in the design application uh, with the native file that has fed into the iModel. By default when you create a save view they will only be visible to you. If you want to make the save view available for others on the project team then you need to share the view. To share a view, click on the More Actions button next to the save view you want to share. From the context menu, select the Share option. The shared save view will now appear for others inside the Saved View dialog.